extension of trading hours so this is something that is being widely discussed in the last recent weeks mainly because of the circular that came out recently where nse is going to extend the trading hours from morning nine o'clock to night 11 55 pm and many traders are completely against it they don't want nse to increase the trading hours mainly because if you closely observe very very few people are rule-based traders few people have their own systems we you know very few you know try to manage their overall positions through automated way most people in india how do they trade they monitor the charts they watch the news channels they discuss about what are the stocks that that can be traded among their friends they go on to so various social media networks and they try to see what are the list of stocks that is being discussed or no which is being traded by most people and they pick those stocks and try to trade it or if they are index based traders they check what is whether their market view is bearish or bullish based on the overall market sentiments they keep placing these trades and they sit in front of system from nine o'clock to three o'clock and they take these trading decisions and the end of the day they see the results it's going to be positive some days it's going to be negative some days but they sit and trade more, almost more than six hours a day just to execute the trade so in addition to that they spend almost three to four hours every day in analyzing the markets and finally taking the trading decision so when suddenly you no know, nsc comes and says that they are now trading hours is going to be increased obviously definitely that's going to be a nightmare for most of the traders because they don't want to spend so much of hours sitting in front of a system and make the trades to make that kind of returns but if you see this specific circular is not something new so extension of trading hours did not come as a surprise because sebi proposed this extension of trading hours in 2018 itself so in 2018 itself there was a circular came out by sebi stating that no nse needs to extend the trading hours it is so that it is in line with the international exchanges most traders are worried mainly because of the following reasons first thing is they are really fearful that their current option trading strategy might not work might stop working if nse extends the timing the possibility of gaps might drastically go down if you closely observe if you know, most of the news are you no know, factored in when market trades till 11 55 so only there will be few hours of non-trading hours which is left that is you no know, hardly going to create any impact so most you no know, traders who are mainly dependent on gaps or strategies mainly dependent on gaps might not work well and third thing is positional option trading strategy for an example any positional option trading strategy if you see they you know their overall premium what they gain is comparatively higher than intraday premium because they because they take overnight positions obviously premiums are a lot higher positional option trading strategy might become a lot tougher because currently if you closely observe intraday versus positional the option dk percentage is a lot lesser intraday compared to positional because positional you have to you know hold the positions overnight since you are taking this overnight risk obviously the premium that you get will also be higher so when there is an extension of this trading hours obviously you know the gaps that are number of gaps that's going to occur might get reduced the gaps might not disappear completely but the number of huge gap days might drastically go down due to which there will be very less uncertainty so when there is less uncertainty the premium you know that you are paying to you know hold this overnight positions might be definitely lot lesser than what we are currently seeing now so if they are making 30 or 40 percent returns through their position strategy that particular percentage of returns might go down going forward with respect to you know, if nsc increases the trading hours and last and most importantly many people are discretionary traders where they take the trades based on the current market movements or based on the current news that is now happening with respect to the markets so if these people have to take trades obviously you know their total number of trading hours they have to sit in front of a system goes it increases multifold so instead of 9 to 3 they have to you know sit almost from 9 to 11 or 11 55 to make the same kind of returns so this is going to be really really tiresome but there are certain other people who tend to you know debate stating that see i have a you know, job which i have to work from 9 to 6 probably i can come back home and start trading the markets which might really you know definitely going to help the working professionals before we go ahead and you know start discussing about these various problems and what are the maximum probabilities or what is the maximum possibility that nse could do with this extension of trading hours we need to know the history do you know how many number of hours market used to open during 1993 and 1994 it's just between 12 pm to 2 pm that's all this is the overall trading window that were open to trade live in the indian markets so in 1993 to 1994 just between 12 pm to 2 pm is the overall trading window later it was extended to 10 am to 3 pm and then again it was changed to 9 am to 3 30 pm so this extension of trading hours has been you no know, keep on changing over a period of time so it is not fixed like starting from day one to till the end it's not going to be same so it always changes 
and the nsc the exchange also wants to adapt based on the current international markets how the overall international exchanges works so change is the only constant they say which is not only applicable for life that is applicable for markets as well no not only market timings all these strategies all these type of traders people trade in the markets it keeps evolving so that is very natural we need to know why exchange wants to increase the trading hours if you closely observe no they don't want to kill the retail participations obviously they don't want to kill the volumes exchange wants to make money obviously you know if a business makes a specific decision that is in this in interest with their business because they tend to think that this is going to increase the business so first of all why exchange should think that increasing trading hours will increasing will increase volume will definitely help retail traders if you closely observe with respect to international markets if you consider dow jones futures so that is available almost like 24 hours 7 like it is available most of the time where people can trade you know, futures segment with respect to dow jones even with respect to forex market that is there it is there for you no know, 24 hours market where people can trade with any kind of pairs across the globe across you know any kind of you no know, different currencies across the world so these things are already there these things are not completely new and these things are already there in international markets but it is just new with respect to indian markets because the exchange wants to grab certain market share with respect to these international markets these international institutions so what nsc states is currently less than 2% of the indian populations invest in markets compared to 40 or 50% of the overall populations in developed markets so they are thinking like how do i increase this overall volume what are the you no know, various things that i could do other than educating the users is they wanted to increase the overall trading hours so that you know people who are working professionals between 9 to 6 who are occupied with their day job who do not have time like there are multiple traders out there who can analyze about the markets who, who, who are ready to take trades but because of their day job or people consider college students because of their you no know, day to day academics they are not able to place trades they are not able to trade so opening a trading hours and extending the trading hours till 11:55 will definitely help these kind of traders after their office hours gets over they would definitely try to trade with these indices or try to trade with these markets these people will come into the markets and definitely this is going to increase the volume so more college students will come in and these working professionals all these business professionals who do not have time to place trades between 9 to 3 will come into the markets post 6 pm or post 5 pm so exchange is very very positive that this introduction of this extension of market hours is definitely going to boost huge volume into the markets so this in turn will definitely help you now moving the 2% of overall indian population participation in stock market this can increase to 10 folds to 20% or 25% in next 10 or 15 years so that is the you no know, forecast that you no know, exchange has in their mind so accordingly they are in, you know, trying to extend this trading hours which could accommodate these type of you know individuals that in turn will increase the overall volume even with respect to indian brokers if you closely observe more than 70 to 80% of the brokers have commodity license which means they are already operating till 1155 to accommodate the commodity exchange so they already have the required infrastructure to handle the trading volume till 1155 so even if the equity derivative segments extension happens they have enough infrastructure to handle the overall load so that is the statement as from nsc what nsc is proposing is extension of trading hours only for equity derivative segment in this case if you observe most traders are worried that this is going to be for both futures and options but what i know i have researched so far is from 2018 to till date the last 4 years i have researched all these articles and the maximum probability of this extension is going to be applicable only for index futures so 99% chance that nse might introduce this extension of trading hours only for bank nifty futures and nifty futures they might not add it for option segment because they wanted to keep it in line with the other exchanges for an example no consider new york stock exchange where it opens from 9:30 am to 4 pm that is a normal trading hours window but you know if you consider this us markets futures it almost you no know, it is available round the clock throughout the day so people who wanted to trade in futures they use that instrument but people who wanted to trade in stocks or options they have this window of 9:30 am to 4 pm only they don't have no other windows to trade so even though you know the derivative segment is enabled in the us market it is enabled only for the future segment it is not enabled for the option segment so the major reason that nse want to do it to grab the market share to increase the overall market share to you know increase the overall retail participation and also 
to grab the market share from international exchanges where no people who trade across the world they go to singapore exchange they go to dubai exchange and they go go to the you know uk and us exchanges to trade in these markets because it is available around the clock but in india it is restricted to 330 pm so if they extended to 1155 definitely you know these large institutions who have large holdings could take exposure with respect to futures market to hedge their overall portfolio and definitely this is going to increase the overall transaction for them because currently that is what happening in international markets so all these large institutions are trading in dubai exchange trading in singapore exchange trading in us and uk exchanges because it is available throughout the day in fact if you closely observe this sgx nifty they you know consider they have a considerable number of volumes being traded in their exchange so mainly nse want to grab that market share back you know back from singapore exchange so that they don't lose out because singapore nifty exchange is primarily based on nifty but still there is a large volume that is happening in singapore nifty exchange so they wanted to grab the market share from there so if they have extended this market as till 11:55 pm so all this market share which is being split into other international exchanges will come back to india even i checked many posts from trading q and a with respect to zero the where you know, before has retail investors brokers have you no know, better information with respect to when it's going to implemented what are the segments it's going to be implemented if you, you know observe so the post from nitin even he has mentioned that even if nse extends its trading hours it's going to be only for index derivatives and that too it will be applicable only for nifty futures or bank nifty futures so it won't be you know moved into so the option segments or stocks all this all these things won't be extended so people who are trading options they don't need to be worried about it so definitely there is a 99% chance that this is going to be only for index futures not for index options so whatever trading strategies that you currently apply might continue to work going forward and second thing if you are a positional trader then there is a possibility of diminishing returns because of lesser gaps and because of no lesser uncertainty obviously the premiums might not be you know sufficient enough to hold this overnight position the risk reward ratio might not look good and moreover if you closely observe the you know the premium percentage that is decreasing in uh, you know intraday basis and versus the positional basis positional basis premiums decrease more because of the overnight risk but now that overnight risk is going to be reduced probably the dk could be a lot higher with respect to intraday so many people tend to think that you no know, intraday is going to be a lot tougher if they extend the trading hours but if it is for futures yeah that could be you know huge volatility based on the specific timing not throughout the day for an example consider the commodity markets so commodity market is open from morning to evening but if you observe volumes will happen with respect to specific exchange opening like when europe market opens there will be sudden volume when us market opens there will be sudden volume when uk market opens there will be sudden volume similarly you no know, those kind of movements could be happening with respect to equity futures like derivative futures if trading hours is extended so mainly these large gaps will be arrested because of overnight events so whatever you no know, since if you open a if a market is closed by 3:30 then tomorrow if market opens then any news that occurs between this 3:30 to next day 9 it's going to affect our overall index because of this there will be huge gap up or gap down so now since the overall index is going to be open till 11:55 whenever these kind of global events happens that is directly going to get linked to our futures so for an example if you would have observed after our market closes sgx nifty would be trading at 200 points gap up or 200 points gap down and accordingly we expect next day it's going to be gap up or gap down now the same 200 points which we see in sgx will be reflected immediately in our you no know, index futures itself so next day when market opens it would have already factored in that kind of movement into the index so we might not see a huge you no know, movement when the market opens next day so these are the things that we need to keep in mind so even if nsc extends the overall trading hours it's not going to be you know for index options it's going to be mostly for index futures and if you, you know it's not going to affect most of the 920 short sell you know, traders who are trading mainly on options i don't think it's going to affect them because their trading hours window is going to be you know same normal between 9 to 330 that's not going to be changed so people say that this is going to affect only you know discretionary traders it's not going to affect system traders algo traders they don't need to be worried about it because they can directly schedule it and run the systems they don't need to be much worried because everything is going to be automated so during 2014 and 2015 i was trading in commodities market it was completely automated because i can't you no know, sit in front of a system from morning to evening so obviously i coded my rules and i automated it and i was trading with crude oil even though it is fully automated 
still i have to know keep an alarm and wake up at around 11:30 to make sure my positions are closed there is no issues with my position and then i just go to sleep so if you are a futures trader and if you are currently trading futures and even though it is fully automated still you might spend some time during the no day and when the orders are waiting so during the day and when the market is about to close you might check your position so that is still going to affect your overall sleep or overall routine so be it fully automated be it discretionary definitely long trading hours will have an impact so my expectation is that nsc is definitely going to you know introduce this extension of trading hours but it is going to be limited to index futures it's not going to be an option so that is what you no know, i mainly believe in and that is what you know, most of the research which i did also states so by adding so currently what you see the most number of options contracts traded that is happening only with respect to options it is not happening with futures Two or three, you know, five or six years before, before the introduction of weekly options, the major volumes that will used to come from Nifty futures and Bank Nifty futures. But after the introduction of weekly options, major volumes is going to options, but not to the futures. So by you know extending this trading as till 11:55, definitely we could see you know more volumes coming to futures, and we might see. So currently, how this option segment is overly crowded, so probably more people will start getting into index futures also, and more people will try to automate their strategies through futures also. Who knows that might also happen. so with respect to expectation so this is the only expectation i have so if you are an options trader i don't i don't think you don't be worried too much about it so 99% there is a chance that this is going to be only for index futures not with options that is what i wanted to know and uh, convey in this video so if you guys have any questions please post it in the comment section i'll address it thank you